What is going on guys? Aaron here at Empire Toys 1138 and I'm so happy to say it but for the first time this year I'm going to a car boot sale. Right guys I am heading down to my local car boot sale now. I'm absolutely buzzing that it's on. It's the first chance I've had to go. We've had a free weekend that the actual weather is decent. This is only the second time it's running this year because of the weather so I'm hoping to find uh, some good bits. Uh, I don't know if Dan and Andy be meeting me down there i will find out that later uh, and if not you know it's gonna be a solo walk around if it is the boys will be there who knows well i'm hoping to find some cool bits and some cool retro toys but we'll see how it goes i'm just buzzing <laughs> to be honest just to go there and walk around the muddy field anyway guys please like and subscribe please you know add a comment below when you see something you like or if i miss something because i love all that stuff so let's go find those cool toys so we've been walking around for a bit because not everyone's set up yet I have bought a Grogu this thing. But at the moment, there's a whole lot of nut. Wet, soggy feet. Hopefully, we'll find some more bits. Everyone's still setting up, but you know, gotta keep going. Right there. Yep. Did you do eight on that? Yep, go on yeah. yeah. Cheers, thank you. Thanks guys. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. No, it's Mr. D's, isn't it? Mr. D's. It's a good one. 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 You got any more stuff or is it all gone? Um, I've only got 1991. I'll have a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll have a look. I like quad races and. Okay. How much is this, man? That's uh, £3. Pounds. How much have you got on that one? Uh, 10 on him. 10. Anymore, yeah, that's all right. Week. <laughs> no, that's all right. It's all good. I didn't realise I stored the, the ships. How much are they? Um, they're ten pound oh. each. Yeah, they go to that. They go with that. Those two. Go. Make memory when my when my son was smaller. <laughs> And that goes with one of them. Yeah. That goes with that. And you're just a weird. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me then for a second. <laughs> uh, that's two packs. I think. I've been 
to the is the walker. No, it's gone. Oh, fine. Yeah, okay, so fair enough. Got it out. Oh, right. <laughs> um, it's five pounds. So five pounds. Each. Yeah, no. Yeah, of course. How much? Uh, 12. Ten? Yeah, I'm just dying up here. Yeah, cool, but... Feet or not? That goes in the middle between there. Yeah. <laughs> it's got all its side bits. You're just missing Anakin to go in there. Thank you very much. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. much out there she should do all right How much for the dinosaurs and bits? Um, two pounds. Bye! Pleasure! Jurassic World, but yeah. How much for the little Grogu? Uh, three. three. Do two? Thank you very much. You taking the money? Yeah, yeah. good man. <laughs> Right guys, I'm back from the car boot sale. Really successful morning, really enjoyed it. Great seeing a lot of friends out there hunting toys and hunting bits and bobs as well. It's the first one I've been able to get to this year because the weather has been so poor. So very happy to be able to get out and I probably spent a little bit more than I should have, but you know, with the way the weather's going, you know, when are you gonna get a chance to go back? Hopefully next week, but we shall see, depending on the weather. So the lovely little haul, nice way of starting off the year. So let's uh, flip the camera around and check out what I found. So first of all, I just wanna apologize for doing this on my bed with a lovely flowery uh, arrangement, but I've got a really busy weekend, so I'm not gonna have a chance to film any of this again. So the majority of this, hopefully you saw in the video and it came out really well, I haven't had a chance to go back and look at it. But there were a couple of bits I found on my second walk around, which unfortunately I wasn't filming because it was just more of a walkabout and I wasn't expecting to find anything. And they might have been the good stuff. So on the second walkabout, I'm gonna kick it off, I managed to find this mask volcano. Super happy about this. I can't believe I missed that on the first walk or it wasn't put out yet. 
it was just on some random table that you would not have expected to find toys on so super stoked to find that it does work it is missing the top bit there and it's got no figures but still i think this is one of like the first big boy mask uh things i've ever found at a car boot sale um the ones i've seen online are blue this one is black, so I don't know if it's a variant or a Euro variant or what, what it is, but maybe some of my more uh, clued up mask collectors out there can let me know. But again, super stoked to have picked that up, and it was such a great price, and I uh, just gutted that I can get it on film. Other things I caught, which wasn't on film, was a Thundercats. We've got Panthro here, and I believe, I think they're the, one of the bad guys, so happy to grab them. I think it's been the first time in a long time that I've actually found Thundercats vintage at the boot sale and on the same stall that had them had a cheeky stegosaurus from dino riders so again really happy about that they're one of those stalls that just has a mixture of every sort of toy on there they just they cater for mostly the kids and stuff but uh, every now and again it is good to take them out because they just have a few little things hidden and we found dino riders and thundercats on there uh, again this transformer i thought was pretty cool Big old gun on him, not too sure what it is, haven't opened him up yet. Uh, again, he was nice and cheap, so it was worth a punt. Um, this big old rocket gun thing, like, he just looks cool. Uh, I think it was like 2005 or something on there, so went with a uh, gamble on that, but still, can't really go wrong. He looks pretty complete, and in this form, he looks decent. And again, got that on the second run, so unfortunately, didn't get that on video. Oh, this as well, didn't get this. I believe, I haven't checked it up, haven't had a time. This is Lost World, I believe. Might not be. Uh, I took. It, I thought it was when I first saw it, and um, it was 50p, so I can't really go wrong with that. And for 50p, I'll take a punt. But I'm pretty sure that is one of the glider from uh, Lost World figures. So, again, happy to grab that. Now, the rest of it, I think, was on film. Again, I haven't really... Um, seen it back so i'm hoping it came through uh the first pickup was this mandalorian child hasbro toy thing um literally i bought this on the first row as soon as i walked in there i was got a bit apprehensive and a bit nervous so uh took a gamble on that and then funny enough later down the line i found this mattel plush grogu as well so again grab one of them for comic-con so happy to grab that uh, again uh vintage atst uh i've got the top hatch for it one of the reasons why i picked it up uh, it's just a cool one it's not too badly yellowed unfortunately they had the uh an 8080 and a millennium falcon vintage in the car that we had already sold but it's still cool to pick up an atst uh, a lot easier to take to the toy fairs than a, a falcon or a um 8080 and again got the top hash so no problems with that also the slave one from or can you call it slave one anymore i don't know what you can call things nowadays uh from episode two pick that up one of the reasons why i grabbed that because it had missiles and it's got the seismic charges i don't know if you can see it it's got it in there which are all the little bits that go missing so pick that up and on the same stall was the Nabu Starfighter which I grabbed because obviously it's really popular at the moment because of the Mandalorian and it's always been a cool looking ship from episode one this was probably one of those cool sort of things that you love to see at boot fairs uh, I got a bit of a deal on that they wanted a tenner but they knocked a bit off for me which was decent but this is a, it's in boxed as well it's a nice set of 1990 Mirage Studio turtle glasses really really cool i love that some great artwork there on the team i know a lot of turtle collectors will be interested in that and obviously because it's uk it is hero turtles so again happy to have grabbed that and that's the sort of things i like i like finding this sort of stuff at boot fairs like the merchandise kind of stuff and it's cool that it's in the packaging last but not least we the lady had loads of dinosaurs some of them that i already had in stock so i wasn't too bothered about picking seconds and stuff up but you know everyone loves a chunky boy Godzilla so I picked that one up I th first when I thought I saw it I thought oh, Necker but then obviously looking at the rest of the store which had dinosaurs and everything on it it's got to be a kid so it wouldn't be a Necker one but still cool and again I got this really nice Tyrannosaurus Rex from Lost World and uh, I can't remember his name is it it's not an Allosaurus but I got that as well which was a couple of dinosaurs that I didn't have uh, to sell uh, some of the other ones they had I already had so there's no point picking it 
up. So I'm really happy with my finds from the weekend. I could have spent a little bit more money, but I was trying to be uh, very selective on what I found, and I made the mistake of being grabbing that uh, first the child Grogu plasticky toy straight away because I was getting a bit, oh my god, what am I going to find? There's nothing here. And then, you know, got into more of the family selling area and there was a lot more stuff to pick up. So it was a really good weekend. So hopefully more of the same next week. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Please like and subscribe if you're still with me here. I really do appreciate every single one of you. We're over the 4,000 mark. So happy about that. I'm still going to hope to get to 5,000 by the end of the year, which again is a big ask. But you know, the more you guys watch, the more likes, comments, helps with all that YouTube boring algorithm stuff. Uh, it helps me out. So I really do appreciate it, guys. So take it easy. Happy hunting. And I should hopefully see you next week for another video. Peace.